I'm Terry, and this is Tea with Terry, where we talk about thoughts, emotions, and actions. So today's thought topic is all about happiness. And this is a topic that can feel a little bit challenging. In fact, we have a lot of thoughts around happiness. So I want to start by just framing what is happiness? So this definition actually comes from a book by Arthur C. Brooks and Oprah Winfrey. And what they say is that happiness is best described as a direction versus a destination. And I think that is such a helpful concept because often we think about happiness and we wonder if we're doing it right. Are we happy enough? Are we not as happy as the next individual? What does happiness really look like? What is this elusive happiness we're looking for? And so if we recognize it as a direction, then I think it gives us the gift of being able to focus on the emotion behind happiness. It helps us let go of the idea that we have to arrive or have all of the answers and instead we can simply enjoy the process so that has been helpful for me over these last few months of really understanding more about happiness as a direction so that's one concept another concept is the idea that if you don't know what it is that you're looking for when it comes to happiness. You're not alone. We often will tell people, well, I just want to be happy or when my children are happy, then I'll be satisfied. Everything will be good. Life will look perfect or life will look better. And so what we have to understand is that most of us don't really know what that elusive happy is. So again, this idea of a direction of exploring things that bring enjoyment into our life could be very powerful for you. And in the book that I mentioned by Arthur C. Brooks and Oprah Winfrey, it's called Build the Life You Want. And it really is a focus on learning more about the direction of happiness. And so they talk about three elements of happiness. And I'm just going to focus on one today because to me, this was a really key uh, new thought around happiness. And this is the idea of pleasure versus enjoyment. And I think particularly in the work that I do with people who are struggling with their relationship with alcohol, we often find ourselves thinking that pleasure is happiness. But I want to invite you into this concept of enjoyment is how we find happiness versus pleasure. Pleasure is often fleeting. It's short term. It's that quick fix, much like alcohol was for me for many years. And so if we think about enjoyment, enjoyment must be cultivated. It takes a little longer. It's that slow savor. And we sometimes have to give up that momentary pleasure to experience enjoyment. So when I think about happiness in terms of enjoyment, that helps me understand that I'm playing the long game. I'm cultivating things in my life that help me with enjoyment. And so if that's helpful for you, I invite you to consider that thought. And this idea of happiness is something that we can continue to explore. I did a tea for Terry about gratitude with some of these similar concepts. And so today I just wanted to touch on happiness because I realized that we can get, again, caught up in judging ourselves whether we're really happy or I should be happier. And so let's let go of happier and happiness and just have a direction of exploring how to build the life that brings us more and more enjoyment. So I hope this thought about happiness was helpful for you and I'll see you next week with another Tea with Terry.